8 Girls That Drake Dated Drake's career has been all about romance since the very start. After a stint as an actor on Degrassi, Aubrey Drake Graham transitioned into the music world with the characteristic take on hip-hop that involved equal parts singing and rapping. Instead of taking on the traditional tough guy persona that was flourishing in rap at the time, he opted to make songs about love, heartbreak, and his feelings. Although it was controversial at first, time has proven that Drake's approach was the future of rap. It seems like every rapper sings these days, and lyrics about romance are now commonplace. This is more or less thanks to Drake, and his inspiration for his softer take on rap comes from one place, the women he has dated. The certified lover boy himself has dated a long list of different women throughout his career. While some of them are unknown ladies from his native Canada, others are worldwide superstars that he met through his musical fame. Some of them were secret loves, while others were widely publicized flings. Before we start the video though, make sure to click that like button and subscribe to our channel. Channel. Now, here's 8 girls that Drake dated. Number 8, Katya Washington. Let's be real, Drake is one of the biggest celebrities on the planet. Because of this, most of the women that he's been with are of a similar level of fame. But Drake also values his privacy, and many of his relationships have been pretty low-key. He doesn't want to be hounded by the paparazzi every time he steps out of his house because he's hanging with another superstar. That might be one of the reasons why he fell so hard for Katya Washington. Don't get me wrong, the model is still pretty well known with 400 63,000 followers, but she's definitely not on the A-list. That was even more true when they first started dating around 2009. Katya was one of the women on set for the Best I Ever Had music video, and the two quickly realized that there was something between them. Although Drake hasn't spoken much about Katya publicly, she was interviewed by radio station Hot 107.9 in 2011 about the time she spent with Drake. According to her, things got serious almost immediately after the video shoot. She said, quote, I'm talking family dinners, we and whole foods pushing the cart around, it was a regular relationship. Unfortunately though, things didn't work out. Katya said that the relationship fell apart sometime in 2010 once Drake started going on trips without her and inviting other women. It's impossible to know whether Katya's retelling of the relationship is true or not, but it seems pretty believable. Number 7, Malaya Michelle. Speaking of women that Drake was hanging around with while he was seeing Katya Washington, let's talk about Malaya Michelle. In Katya's interview, she singled out Malaya as one of the girls that Drake Drake was going out with instead of her, and the timeline seems to confirm her story. Drake started dating Malaya Michelle in 2010, right when he and Katya broke up. Interestingly, Drizzy met Malaya on the set of one of his music videos, just like how he met Katya. Drake was naturally infatuated, and they began seeing each other. Their relationship was pretty short, and it never seemed to get too serious. Malaya was an adult performer and stripper, and she didn't like that Drake was always trying to convince her to quit her profession and live a simpler life with him. Once they were over, she even aired out her feelings toward Drake on Twitter, talking about him as a hypocrite for always being in strip clubs despite putting her down for performing in them. While these two were never officially boyfriend and girlfriend, Malaya does have a claim to fame that only a few of Drake's exes have. He mentioned her in a song. In Miss Me, Drake says, quote, Someone tell Malaya I'm on fire she should work tonight. Shortly after that in the same song though, Drake mentions how he could never love a woman who works in a strip club. So there you have it. Number 6, Georgia Smith. Did Drake and Georgia Smith ever date? Well, it's hard to say for certain. Drizzy is notoriously secretive about the women that he's seen, and Georgia never publicly made any statements about them being together. However, there are some key pieces of information that make this rumor seem a bit more credible than some of the others that have popped up during Drake's career. Honestly, it's even more likely that these two dated than Drake and Nicki Minaj. The first reason why it seems that Drake and Georgia were an item is the fact that there were multiple photos of the two together, and they definitely looked like a couple in them. There were even photos of them in Georgia's hometown. You could argue that they were only spotted with one another because Georgia was opening on Drake's 2017 tour, but sources close to them claim that it was more than just a one-off fling. Another reason that points to these two being serious is the 11 tattoo that Drake got at the same time they were spotted together. Georgia was born on June 11th, so it makes a lot of sense that the tattoo would honor her. Drake even spoke about it on his song March 14th, saying, I got this 11 tatted for somebody, now it's yours. In essence, he rededicated the tattoo from Georgia to his son. We'll probably never know for sure whether these two were for real, but all the signs are there. As with many of Drake's relationships, we won't ever really hear about it from him. Number 5, Serena Williams. Drake has been with dancers, models, singers, and actresses. But did you know that he also 
also once had a short affair with tennis player Serena Williams. These two actually have a history that goes way back. Let's start at the beginning. In 2010, Trey Songz released his hit track with Nicki Minaj called Bottoms Up, and the video was reportedly filmed at Drake's condo at the time. Serena Williams was featured in the music video, and most people speculate that that's where she and Drake first touched base. From there, Drake was a regular at her tennis matches. Starting in 2011, the rapper could be spotted watching her from the stands. That same year, he made a suggestive tweet about her referencing the fact that the two have been playing tennis together. And then in 2013, he mentioned beating Serena in tennis in his track, Worst Behavior. Fast forward a few more years and Drake was still going to her games. Pictures were then leaked that showed the two kissing while leaving a hotel together. Although not much else has surfaced about them since then, Drake was still seen at her games as recently as 2018. It's clear that there was something going on between these two, but it may have just been a friendship that briefly became more heated. Either way, things are definitely over now. Serena has been married to entrepreneur Alexis Ohanian since 2017. Number 4. Jennifer Lopez Whether it's deserved or not, Drake has earned himself a reputation as someone who prefers younger women than him. Even putting his questionable relationship with Millie Bobby Brown aside, it does seem true that most of his flings are with younger women. But there is one big exception to that rule. Jennifer Lopez. Rumors started to hit about these two having a private affair back in 2016. At the time, J-Lo was 46 and Drake was only 29. But as Drake's idol Aliyah once said, age ain't nothing but a number. The big age gap really didn't prevent these two from cuddling with each other in a picture that instantly went viral. It seemed like these two were the perfect match to completely break the internet. Unfortunately, aside from this photo, we never learned much about the supposed relationship between Drake and Jenny from the block. J-Lo and Drizzy have both had an endless number of crushes and romances, so it seems totally reasonable that they got together, had a passionate relationship for a short period of time, and then cut things off quickly. Fans were disappointed that this one never really went anywhere, but their affair does get a reference on the track Diplomatic Immunity. In it, he raps, 2017, I lost a J-Lo. We'll probably never know the full story. Number 3, Sophie Brousseau There are fewer scandals in rap history that are bigger than Drake and Pusha T's beef. The context behind their feud was murky at first, but things became very real once Pusha brought Drake's personal life into one of his diss tracks. In it, he dropped a bombshell. Drake had fathered a son in secret. You all know the story by now. Pusha was right. Drake's son Adonis was then revealed to the world shortly after the infamous diss track, but most people People still don't know much about Drake's baby mama, Sophie Brasso. Most people think that Sophie is an adult film star, but this isn't true. She's actually a French woman who used to be a model, appearing in many music videos. It was through this industry that she met Drake in early 2017, and Drake learned that he had gotten her pregnant only a few months later. He scrambled to try and figure out the situation, and she ended up having the child. He wanted to keep it a secret, but things quickly changed, thanks to the beef with Pusha T. Despite these two having a child together, it doesn't seem like they were were ever very close. Still, it seems that they have a healthy co-parenting relationship these days, and I'm sure that they're still quite amicable behind the scenes. For her part, Sophie's life has done a complete 180, and she's now become a successful artist. She even personally delivered a portrait she painted of the Pope to the Vatican. Number 2. SZA SZA and Drake seem like they would make a perfect couple. However, the chances of them getting together these days are basically slim to none. That's because they actually have a history. According to a Drake song, the two dated a long time ago. But wait, wasn't SZA relatively unknown until recently? Okay, let's look at the timeline here. In Mr. Right Now, Drake says, quote, I used to date SZA back in 08. In 2008, Drake's career was just beginning. He was still living in Canada, and his breakthrough mixtape, So Far Gone, hadn't been released yet. As for SZA... Her career didn't get started until she met Top Dog Entertainment members in 2011. So yeah, your guess is as good as mine as to how these two met. They were living in completely different parts of the world, and neither were well-known artists. However, it seems like Drake's line about them dating was true. SZA confirmed it on Twitter, though she made sure to clarify it was actually 2009 when they dated. Still, it's totally confusing as to how these two ever linked up. Regardless, this relationship is an interesting pop culture footnote. There are essentially no other details about them being together, but it is weird that neither of them have mentioned it until more than a decade later. Number 1. Rihanna Aside from his and Nicki Minaj's they will or they won't situation, Drake's relationship with Rihanna is probably his most notable. It was one of his more public romances. He posted pictures with her on social media, wrote lyrics about her, and even collaborated with her on music. But as you know, things didn't work out. Rihanna is now with ASAP Rocky. For Drake, she really is the one who got away. The 
Despite their connection seeming incredibly real, Rihanna didn't reciprocate the same feelings that Drizzy had. He infamously spoke about his love for her at the 2016 VMAs, and things awkwardly fell apart after that. Whether Rihanna felt that things were moving too fast, or she just didn't want them to be more than just friends is unclear. But after 2016, they were no longer seen cuddling in Instagram pictures and working together on music. Rihanna basically dropped out of Drake's life, and the story fizzled out. It's a shame, they were definitely a really killer couple. So did any of the girls Drake has dated surprise you? Let me know in the comments. And before you leave, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to our channel.